Okay, this is our topic for this this week. Creating a world user folder. Introduction. <clears throat> In these lessons, you will learn how to create a user folder with network operating system or NOS features. Basically, a user folder is a storage of files stored by the users of the computer server. So, it ang gamit po kasi ng user ser user folder po natin um, para makagamit po tayo ng um, pag-share po ng isang network po sa isang server po natin. So, dito po sa Active Directory Domain Services, before creating a user folder, the administrator of the server should first install the Active Directory Domain Services. Hindi po muna makakagawa pa ng user folder once na hindi po na-install ni administrator o administ admin yung, in, yung Active Directory Domain User Services o tiyatawag natin ADDS and create a user account to install the ADDS the administrator should be open command prompt um, control plus R which is mapupunta po yan sa CMD yung R is run po yan control R stands for run para makapunta siya sa CMD okay, tatay po yan control R then may lalabas na na command Magta-type, ta-type niyo po doon yung CMD. Or <clears throat> pwede na mo i-type sa start button po yung CMD. And type DC promo to install ADDS DNS. And create a forest and domain. Okay, ayun po 'yan. Um, para may install po natin yung Active Directory Domain Services, kailangan po natin install po tong DC promo. Okay? Ang mangyayari po yung DC promo.exe, pwede po 'yan. A server that runs ADDS is a domain controllers. The domain controllers basically validates and gives access to all users and computers in a Windows domain type network. Ibig sabihin, siya po yung nag-a-access, nagbabalidate kung ikaw pa is allowed or authorized person ng isang server. <clears throat> Appoints and creates security protocols for all computers. Please and install and add software. Ibig sabihin, siya po din po yung nag add ng mga softwares po ng server po natin. Once na na-install na po yung Active Directory Domain Services. Okay? Ano po ba yung mga features ni Active Directory Domain Services? The number one is security. For security, bakit po siya for security? Sabi ko, eh, sabi ko, ko nga po kanina, yan po, validates and gives access. Big sabihin po, siya po yung nagbabalidate na authorized ka po ba o hindi. Security, the data is stored securely. Each of the object in the Active Directory has an ACL or Access Control List which consists of the resources that one may access and along with access privilege given to each resources. So, ayun po yun yung security. Kaya meron po tayong Active Directory Domain Services for security po siya and query capabilities. The ADDS creates a global catalog to give a mechanism to handle the queries. A client which has ADDS can query the catalog to request directory data. Okay, siya rin po yung nagbibigay ng mga <clears throat> queries for the customers. Okay? Then, number three, reflection. To replicate a directory to all domains controllers means easy access, high availability, and improved fault tolerance. Okay, siya rin po yung para po siyang proxy, kumbaga. Okay? Next, number four, extensibility. Having ADDS is extensible, meaning that new object types can be added to a directory. An attribute can be added, for example, to the users of object. Once a user is created, 
a user's folder all, is also automatically created upon the login of the users of the client computers. Ganito po yan. Once na si users, nag-create po siya ng folder yan sa desktop, makikita po ng server po yan or Active Directory Domain Services po natin. Okay. Or di kaya madedetect po niya or nag-create ka ng folder. Ibig sabihin po, yun po yung gamit po niya. <clears throat> Next, Number 4 Creating a user folder OLED This topic will teach you how to create a user folder with Network Operating Systems or NOS You can carefully follow the steps below if you have two computers units One installed with Windows Server OS and Windows 7, 8, 10 Connected through a network cable <coughs> Dito po sa paggagawa po natin ng Ng user folder po natin Kailangan meron po tayo mga server and the, also the client Pag sinabing client, ayun po yung tinatawag po natin ng Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 Okay, bukod pa po yung Windows server Number 1 On the server Computer, create a shared folder on the C or D drive natin. Okay? Ibig sabihin po, gagawa po kayo sa... Saan po? Sa computer po ninyo ng folder. Then, pag nagawa nyo na po, on the server manager, select features, group policy, management forest. Domains, domain name, right click, or the policy, edit. Ito na po yung mga, mga step by step ha. Mas maganda po is in actual po natin to. No? Mag-send din po ako ng video sa inyo. Then after that, uh, you're going to the schools para makapag-actual po kayo ng, ng pag-install po ng Active Directory. Dahil hindi po pwedeng dyan sa bahay po ninyo ang pag-install po ng Active Directory Domain Services So, ito lang po yung mga Mga steps po niya Choose your user configuration Choose policies Choose Windows setting Choose folder direction Choose your Directory to be direct Redirect Press right click on your mouse And select properties Target setting Choose basic under root path, type the share name of the new folder. Click OK. Login to the client computer to automatically create user folder. So, meron po ko nyan. I-actual po natin mas, para mas maintindihan nyo po yung flow po neto. <clears throat> Set static IP address. Follow the steps by the procedures on how to set a static IP address. Ito po, may, may, mayroon po dito. This is a crucial steps when configuring the server. As this is required for the server computer itself. Click, right click, click the left and right buttons to navigate. Ito po yun. The next po natin, ito po yung yan, palakit po natin. Open Network and Sharing Center As, um, Inside the Open Network Sharing Center Click po natin yung Local Network Then go to Properties Then punta po tayo sa IP version 4 Or Internet Protocol version 4 Then set natin dito sa Use the following IP address then, itatype po natin to. As simple as that. Yan. Ayan po yung dapat nakatype. Next. Okay. Close. Well, don't forget to click the okay. Ha? Huwag nyo pong sobrang bilisan. Slowly but surely pa rin. Close pa rin to, ha? So, ayun po yung example po ng actual po natin. So, meron pa po yan sa um, video na isend ko po sa inyo. 
Okay. Ito na po natin yan. I-actual po natin yan. So, after that. Number 6. Configuring the Active Directory Domain. Okay, follow the steps, procedures, and how to configure a the ADDS. This is important since this where uh, all the information and resources are centered on. Click the left and right button to navigate. Yeah. Click po natin yung right button to navigate po yan. <clears throat> and this is promo. Okay. Next. Next. Create a new domain. New. Yan. Ito po yung mayayari po yan ha. Kailangan click din po natin yan. Para mag... Ito. Click-click po ito ha. Reboot on completion. Pero mag-restart po ulit. Yung nabago po natin. Ayun po yung mangyayari. <coughs> Excuse me. And like etest.org Then password din nyo EGIS 2021 Yan, yan po yung po natin Malaki po yung E Yan, next Yan po yung step by step So, finish na Okay na po yung pag-install ng DC promo po natin Next po natin yung adding rules. Yan. Sa pag-add ng rules, ito po yun. Follow the steps, the procedures, and how to add rules in the ADDS. Click the left and right button to navigate. <coughs> yan. Yung tatlong yan, kailangan maka-check po yan. <coughs> Excuse me. Yan. Next. Ang inuno po nyo dito is DC Promo pa. DHCP Services. Ayan, type po natin. Ito, babaguhin po yan. Kailangan yung password po. Ayan, titignan nyo po yung IP address nya. Ayan, pag nakita nyo ng IP address nya, ayan, ito, ayun yung itatype nyo doon. Para mag-validate. Okay. Net, um, next. Add Yung role po na ito Pag sabi namin role po Yung Computer na ma-access po niya Kung ilan pong computers Then next Ayan po yung roles po niya Ibig sabihin 192.168.10.50 Ito naman hanggang 192.168.10.60 Ibig sabihin saan pong computers po yung ma-access po niya Disable lang po natin DC Promo 6 DCP 6 Use current credential Next Then close Okay na po siya So ayun lang po yung Pag install ng add role Sa pag add po ng role Next po natin yung Creating On ha uh, On or original user and unit and follow the steps ulit the new steps yan ito po nakikita po yan sa server manager dito po yan yan Okay, pakisulat po yan ha O screenshot nyo, pwede rin Mandelacus User Right click, yan Yan Finish Yan, may Pedro de la Cruz na May Mandelacus, may Pedro de la Cruz So, ayun lang po siya kadali so, after that, pag natapos na po yung creating an organizational unit and users, pwede na po tayong mag-actual. So, punta po tayo sa 
activity. Sa activity po ninyo, ito po yung gagawin. Select one of the following. Set static IP address. Configure the Active Directory Domain Services. Adding roles. Creating an organization. Unit and users. And create and write down the steps by steps procedures. Ibig sabihin, yung step by step po nito, ano po yung step by step ng static configuration, add roles, creating organization unit. Ayun po yung gagawin po ninyo. Then send po yan dito sa model site. So that's it for lesson 2 activity. Punta naman po tayo sa quiz. Okay, sa quiz po. Ilang items to? 1 to 10 lang po siya. So, sasagutan nyo lang po yan. So, ayun po yung topic natin for this week. No? Sana po may natutunan. Tapos, tapusin na po yung mga activity and the also the quizzes. Isasara ko po yung dev site, yung quiz at saka activity um, in Friday. That's all and thank you.